Hello friends and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz and I have a Kendra's card challenge number 16 hop video for you. Here's the card that we're going to make today and I am using sketch number one. There is a giveaway in this hop and you can enter to win at every single stop on the hop and I will give you more details about that as we're going along. You're going to need the password for this stop on the hop. So I have some craft cardstock I ran through the corrugated embossing folder from Spellbinders. I cut it bigger than I need, emboss it, and then I trimmed this down to A2. And I'm just adding a little bit of brown ink around the outside edges. We have a gnome cowboy, you guys. He's so stinking cute. This whole set just cracks me up. I'm using Gnome on the Range from Trinity Stamps. And I'm really trying to stretch a little bit. I don't use a lot of browns and dusty cowboy color things, but it fit, I think, for our gnome cowboy and his very shaggy cow companion. On this sketch, there are two strips of cardstock. This brown one that's two inches, and then there's, I think it's like one and three quarter inches that you layer on top. But I'm using specialty cardstock, so I decided to conserve that cardstock a little by just cutting eighth inch strips to put right along the edge. And then I'll trim those off with my scissors and you better believe I am saving the longer pieces. I just am. Then I can go ahead and use some glue to add this right down the center of my card. I'm following the sketch, but if you look in the free printable, right? So this is part of Kendra's free printable that she puts out every quarter. Um, this is a landscape card. I just kind of liked it as a, a portrait card because of the cowboy. So Kendra's card challenge, if you're new to that, is a printable that she puts out every quarter and challenge and prizes and all this stuff um, that lets you make 15 cards from six pieces of pattern paper. They're like six one sheet wonders kind of, except you mix and match the patterns. I'm actually using no patterns here, but never mind me. Instead of cutting six pieces of pattern paper for a bunch of cards, I just followed the guide where it tells me the sizes I need for this particular card. So all of that is linked in the description box below. So the sketch I think takes these gold squares, diamonds for me, and stretches them almost to the edges of the card, but I liked it better like this because of our sort of cowboy theme here. Uh, so I attached them to my center diamond and then I'll add it onto the card. I have a little foam tape on the left and right hand sides just because there's a lot of cardstock stacked up in the center and it felt a little cattywampus. So I couldn't decide which image I was gonna put on the front of the card. So I said, let's wait and stamp a bunch of sentiments first. I'm using this big howdy. <laughs> it is like a rope spelling out the word howdy along with happy birthday, Yahoo little buckaroo. Uh, and all of the smaller words, not the howdy, are individual except for the happy birthday. I have stamped them in some Versamark ink on dark brown cardstock. And at this point I was like, well, what if only one of them was gold and the rest were white? This would have been so much easier if I had cut them apart, but I didn't. Uh, I am very carefully and delicately adding two different colors of embossing powder onto the same panel before I heat set them. It works out. It's going to be fine, but I was feeling brave. I got my heat tool nice and hot, and then I'm going to move pretty quickly. I sometimes struggle with my white embossing powder on thin lined images or sentiments. So I just try to make sure that as soon as I see it melt, I'm taking that heat gun away. Otherwise it melts too much and sort of dissolves into the paper. So I don't know if that's happened to you, but I hope that's helpful. After I glue down my pieces on the front of my card, I'm gonna create a piece for the inside that pops up. And those pieces are not in the sketch. So the inside diamond is two and three quarter and the white is two and a half. And then I'm just gonna glue everything together. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna remind you to definitely check the description box for information about the hop and the giveaway. There is a link to the hop playlist. I love it when hops do this so that you just click that and then you can find them all in the same place and you're not struggling to figure out like who's up next. Each video in the hop will have a password. The password for this video 
is Pink and Main. Okay, Pink and Main is a wonderful craft company and they are a super sponsor for Kendra's card challenge number 16. So when you fill out the form to enter the giveaway, it's a Google form, right? So you're gonna click on that in the description box, fill out the form, and you're gonna put in Pink and Main, okay? Tons of prize opportunities for Kendra's card challenge every quarter. She does an awesome job. To create our pop-up, we're gonna open up our card and I need to figure out where to install my mechanism. The mechanism was cut by a die in Emergency Card Essentials number one, a die set I designed for Trinity stamps, but it comes with a hexagon and this is bigger. So I am going to line up those corners at the top of the card. So they're just below the top of the card and I'm using my pencil to make a mark right where that bottom corner met the score line in the center of the card. Here's a color-coded version of the mechanism. All of these score lines get folded as mountain folds and then you tuck A and D back behind it. We're gonna line up the bottom corner right on that pencil mark and make sure that the score line of the mechanism lines up with the score line of the card. I'm labeling my mechanism A and then I'm gonna label B. You could do B or C but I need it to be B because my cow hangs off of the right-hand side. I skipped C because you'll be able to see it and I labeled D. So I folded everything backwards. Then A and D are gonna tuck behind and we're gonna have this tidy triangle. I'm adding glue onto D and A or A and D, right? I'm gonna hold the top of the mechanism with my right pointer finger because I'm right-handed and that's easiest for me. And I'm gonna lay that down right on top of the score line in the center of the card. The two score lines are perfectly aligned. The bottom corner is just covering the pencil mark that we made. While the glue is wet, I'm slowly closing my card and seeing if the mechanism moves. If it moves or it buckles or it bends, it means I'm not lined up in the center. Sometimes it will adjust itself, but mine was perfect this time. I think I've been installing a lot of pop-ups. I'm gonna carefully open it back up and then I like to take my bone folder and just burnish those a little bit. The flatter that lays, the better the pop is for the mechanism. I am gonna add this onto the mechanism and it's gotta fold one direction or the other. I need it to fold on the B side because on the C side, that little piece of grass is gonna get in the way. So my glue needs to go on the side where I want it to fold. I'm adding glue only onto that triangle. I am not adding any glue on the other side of that score line. The bottom of my diamond is gonna line up perfectly with the bottom of my mechanism. If you put it too high, you'll see the mechanism, which isn't really a problem. If you put it too low, it won't be able to close. See that? That's where it's folding. And so if I put my diamond lower, it will bend or pop off or you'll have other problems. So make sure that it's lining up just perfectly with the bottom of that mechanism. Then I'm gonna add glue all over the front of my card and add my panel on top. I like to wait until the end to do this in case I have a problem with the mechanism or I have a problem with my decorations on the front of the card, right? Then there's, there's more ways to recover if I just wait but that finishes our card. My friends, I hope you like this. I hope you're inspired. I will link below to the giveaway form, the hot playlist, all the supplies I've used, including my brand new die sets. There are two of them. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.